I'm Judy Shaw for NYSE Floor Talk. Joining me today is David Levy. He is co-CEO at Horizon Sports and Experiences. David, it's wonderful to have you here. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk. Thank you, Judy. Thanks for having me down here on the floor. Uh, wonderful to have you. So now you recently announced that you're having your inaugural Pickleball Slam featuring some tennis legends. Yes. So talk to me about the event and your sponsors. So when we started this company, HSE, uh, 15 weeks ago. 15 weeks. My partner Chris and I were thinking about uh, areas of focus that we wanted to have in our company and how we wanted to grow our, our business. And we thought about Formula One uh, as one growth area. We thought about uh, soccer and the World Cup that's happening here in the States. We thought about golf being a huge growth opportunity and then pickleball. Um, if you look at the facts and figures of pickleball right now, uh, 36 million people are playing pickleball. Uh, the growth year over year is 85% growth. And uh, we said, wait a minute, how do we get involved in this and how do we grow this? And one of the things we thought about is taking the biggest names in racket sports, Agassi, McEnroe, Roddick and Chang, putting them in a, in a million dollar purse pickleball match live from the Hard Rock Casino in Hollywood, Florida um, and on ESPN on April 2nd. All of that seemed to add up pretty well as in a pretty exciting event and something that someone will watch and obviously sponsors as well wanting to get involved today. <laughs> that sounds so exciting. Now tell me, how did you manage to recruit them? Well, our other partner in the event, John uh, Benison, uh, who works for Inside Sports, has a strong relationship with them. He has a uh, Champions uh, League uh, uh, tournament for tennis. Mm -hmm. And so we had these relationships with these players for many, many years. And we called them all up and uh, they were all interested in playing. Wow. Okay. So it seems like they are now, you know, liking pickleball. <laughs> so, um, you know, there's, there have been some times where McEnroe has actually said some negative things about pickleball, mm -hmm. but I think he's coming around and his competitive nature. All of them are very, very competitive. Uh, Chang and Roddick play it regularly. Uh, Agassi and McEnroe do play and they are working very hard because at the end of the day, these guys are competitive. They want to be on the court and they want to win. <laughs> All right, so talk to me about the overall popularity of pickleball. Now, I know there's also like an amateur component to the event. Yeah, so uh, Sunday, April 2nd, uh, between the semifinals and finals of March Madness, uh, and we are the lead in for the women's finals for the first time on Sunday on ESPN. We have an amateur event on Friday and Saturday. So there's 200 amateurs, 100 teams, uh, doubles. Uh, there's a two different divisions. There's an 8.0 duper division, which is a ranking. I don't know if you're familiar with the duper system, but mm -hmm. it's like a handicap system. So an 8.0 combined teams and a 10.0 combined teams, they compete for $10,000 over the two days. Okay. And the winner not only wins $10,000, but the winners also get to play against the four legends. Oh, really? <laughs> yes. So they actually get to see whether they're better than the four legends. Wow. And that will all be done uh, on Saturday uh, prior to the event on Sunday. Oh, wow. So exciting. Yes. Okay. So, you know, you have actually spent many years running Turner Sports. So you created The Match, which yeah. is a televised primetime <clears throat> golf event. And you also expanded March Madness to multiple networks. So you've been very busy with yes. Turner Sports. Yes. And now you have Pickleball on ESPN. So do you see strong potential, business potential in Pickleball? Absolutely. This is, uh, just so you know, this is the first of many events we're going to have. Mm -hmm. So we have a five event deal with the Hard Rock Casino. Um, so they have places in, in Las Vegas, uh, Atlantic City, Nashville. We haven't decided where that event is going to. And the amateur event, the amateur slam, we can do that 20, 30 times a year. So we're building out and branding into this whole pickleball environment and pickleball family and the growth of it. So we, we, we are very um, uh, uh, high potential, think that pickleball is gonna be a big opportunity for hs and &E, mm -hmm. And we, we know that the growth is gonna continue to happen. One of the things I wanna talk about also, um, when it leads to the, the match itself or the slam itself is the, uh, the charity angle. Um, so each of the players are gonna have $25,000 and they're going to comp uh, bet on each other uh, throughout the match. Okay. That money all goes to charity. Oh. So they each start with 25, who ends up with the most money at the end, that goes to their charity of choice. They haven't chosen their charities yet. Mm -hmm. Hopefully next week that'll all be announced, but I, I'm really excited about the charity angle to this as well. Oh, that sounds great. Yeah. So now you are co-CEO at HSE. So talk to me about the brand and your mission. 
So yes, uh, HS&E has actually three partners. Uh, I mentioned Chris Wilde in the beginning, but Bill Koningsberg, who runs Horizon Media, is also our third partner in it. And uh, we're just, we're 15 weeks old. Um, our focus is in three pillars. We're experiential and activation, ownership of IP, and uh, consulting and sales. And all that's underpinned with uh, data and analytics. So you can't do anything without data analytics mm -hmm. these days, mm -hmm. but those pillars of experiential, ownership of IP, media, uh, consulting, and sales is where hs &E is going to be focused on for the next year or two, for sure. All right, well, exciting time for you. 15 weeks old, I mean, you've definitely hit the ground running. Yeah, thank you, Judy, I appreciate <laughs> it. It's very exciting time. Very exciting. Well, wonderful to talk with you. Thanks for stopping down and joining me on Floor Talk. Glad to be here.